If you have an aquarium, I'm sure you've heard of using a turkey baster, but if you have a nano tank, I'm here to talk about a whole bunch of different ways you can use it. Well, welcome to the Small Scape on Saturday. Yes, I have another cool tip for you. Actually, a few tips because who doesn't love a turkey baster when you're using it with aquariums? Now, this one's a really nice one. I got it from the grocery store, which let me know down below. Let me know. Do you want me to do a, a fish items at the grocery store you wouldn't believe they have? I think that would be really fun and weird. Two of my favorite things. So this one is really cool. I'm going to link a couple different options down below, but you can get turkey basters at the Dollar Tree for $1. This one's kind of fancy. I think it was five because it came with a brush, which you can use for an intake tube if you want, if you have sponge filters, but that's not the point of the video. This bad boy is the point of the video. Now I'm going to show you a few different ways you can use it. Now the first tank I'm going to use for demonstration purposes is the 15 gallon column tank that we have in the kitchen. It's one of my favorite tanks and also one of my least favorite tanks because it is a real stinker to keep clean. But that's where the turkey baster comes in handy because it serves many, many purposes. The first of which is to clean off the plants. So you can just use this to kind of squirt some air, clean off the plants because Anubias does not like a lot of detritus around it. It will actually start to rot and die. And especially since I have a lot of Nubius in this tank, especially some little Nana Petite hiding in there, that's a great way to clean off your plants. All right, the, the next way I like to use this is on tank cleaning day. You can, if you notice, there's a lot of rocks in the center here that have a lot of little hidey holes for detritus to, to kind of stack up there. So you can just use it to get that gunk out of there and then either, if, if it is your tank cleaning day, you can use your siphon, or you can use a little net to go through the water and clean it up that way. Now, especially on a tiny tank like this one, you can really just use it as a siphon because it is very, very small. Like this tank has very tiny shrimp and very tiny fish that I don't want to suck up with a regular siphon. And you can get into the little nooks and crannies of the tank to pull up little tiny debris and it works out great. And then just like upstairs in the larger tank, this one, you can use it to clear out debris from your little nooks and crannies here and then go back in with a very tiny net like this one, a little shrimp net, and then clear out all of that stuff from the water. Now my favorite way, which I use this turkey baster is to water my plants because who doesn't have plants by their fish tanks? Well, there's my quick tip of the day. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know, do you already use a turkey baster? And if so, how do you use it for your uh, aquariums? But uh, thanks so much for stopping by and for watching the video and I will see you next time.